Boy, look at that hat, boy. Look at that. Look at that gator. Look at that. Boy, that hat looks clean, boy. Clean. It's your boy, Big Guns for Hire. From the 787, representing Big Guns Gaming. And this is another episode of Speaking Truth. Not lies, truth. And today we're going to speak truth on top five hip hop groups of all times. And the reason why I want to speak about this is because I was watching a video by a guy named. Look at that hat. Get, hold on, look, hold on. That shit looks clean, boy. Clean. By a guy named Carcino. And he's a hip hop junkie. He knows his stuff. And um, he was rating best top five uh, group albums of all times. And I don't got no problem with his with his video, his opinion. Actually, I agree with uh with his list. Is 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 um. I agree with it, you know what I'm saying? But my beef and what I see the lies are in the comments on his video. A lot of these guys with top five. Eminem, really? Top five? Eminem? I don't think so. But that's for another day, you know, he's not in the group. But, um, so I thought about it, I'm going to want to speak the truth about who really, really, really the top five groups, rap groups of all time to today. Now, it's not on any specific order. First of all, I'm going to tell you the reasons why these guys are top five of all times. These groups. Our basic, I, my basis, my basis on, on, on why. In order for you to be top of anything, you know, on a, on a high rank, you have to excel either, you have to excel above everyone else. For a long period of time. Okay. When we talk about the all time. Particular. Uh, um, category. Right. Or you have to be. A, 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 you have to be a changer. A game changer. You you, and you you have to be one who change something. You know. who Or you may be one that is doing something nobody ever done before. You know, or you are well known all around everywhere. You know, this is characteristics of top five of anything. You know, if, if you look at, uh, for example, uh, Denzel Washington, we're going to movies now, but Denzel Washington have to be top three actors, best actors of all time. Why? Because you look at his body of work, he don't think that no actors can pull off. So he should be considered top five, in my opinion, top three best actors of all time. You know, but that's you know, like I say, he he for for being an African American man and doing what he done. But that's a list for another day. Let's go back to hip hop, okay? Let's go back to rap. I I, I can't stand that word hip hop. I'm I'm kind of old school, so I like rap. No, that hip hop, uh, pop. They, I don't got no problem with the hip. I got a problem with the pop because the pop is, is to me is 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 cons- the pop is 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 uh is it has drove the the hip hop the pop part of hip it has drove Justin Bieber and all this sh- shit that you see now. So I don't I don't care for that word hip hop. I consider it rap. Top five 
rap groups of all times. Now, I'm going to tell you which are these rap groups, and you look at the reasons why, and you can determine in what part of that top five you want to put them. Because, I'm not, I, you know, I'm, and if there's not any particular order or who best or, or worst. It's just, to me, the top five because of what they accomplish in, 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 in the genre of, of, of music overall. Okay. So let's begin. Number five of the top five rap groups of all times. I got to say is Run DNC. And the reason why Run DNC it have to be on the list is because Run DNC uh, pretty much introduced rap into the to the world. You know, they they were the first ones who who united two different cultures, two different kind of music, uh, and, and and you know they put together uh, rap with rock and i'm not talking about soft rock i'm talking about heavy heavy metal like not heavy metal but no heavy rock you know they're the first one who 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 came together with aerosmith and put that together and it became a success and it showed that two different ethnic groups and two different powerhouse music music uh talent and different music can come together and, and be successful. And they're the first ones to do that. And and also, they pretty much introduce rap. In my opinion, they introduce it to the world. Yeah, if you go to New York, you knew who the Sugar Hill Gangs were, was. You knew who uh, BCB was. You knew how a lot of these people, if you were from New York. But if you were in Miami, you didn't know who these people were. You feel me? You didn't know. So, so that's, you know what I'm saying? But when Run DNC came out, everywhere in the world knew who Run DNC was. Anywhere in the United States. Shoot, I was in Puerto Rico, freaking island, yo, and I knew who Run DNC was. You see, you feel me? So that's why to me they're in the, in the top five, Run DNC. Now, number four, I gotta go with NWA. NWA have to be in the list because NWA put the West Coast in the map of rap or hip hop or whatever of rap. You feel me? They put NWA put the West on the map. You know, they hold that whole they they were the they were not the first West Coast rappers, but they were the ones who put the West on the map. And, and, and it's the reason behind, and they were the first one who say, fuck the police. You know, they were the first one who come with that hardcore, no, no filter, uh, rapping style. They, and they, you know, they put a whole coast in the map and they, and they put a whole new hardcore style into the mix, introduce this whole thing. You know, um, NWA did that. It's, it really was, uh, in the, it was in the group, NWA, but it was really, uh, Ice Cube, uh, mind and writing behind it. Because, you know, Ice Cube pretty much wrote the whole NWA first album. You know what I'm saying? But that's besides the point. But, it, you know, NWA as a group were the first ones to, you know, they're the ones responsible for the West Coast rap. That, you know what I'm saying? So they have to be on the list. Third on the list, I have to say Public Enemy. The reason why Public Enemy is on the list is because Public Enemy, um, they, they, they were the, they were responsible. I mean, African Bambara was around that time and the Sulu Nation was uh, around that time, we know, with the Jungle Brothers and, and all that. They were before Public Enemy. And, and, but, you know, Africa Bambara, uh, he was still into that, uh, break dancing, you know, disco music type of thing. You know, Public Enemy came out, man, and they came out strong with the, um, with the Black Pride and, 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 uh, uh you know, and, and, and united a whole community of African, 
American American African community together. You know, he united. He he brought everyone together. You know, what I'm saying, and also they were so powerful and, and so moving that that other races came together with 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 the uh, African American. They came together with them and. Um, and they were able to uh hold on my computer is making all stupid noises and and it's the reason behind that that you know because if you look at at, at the community okay uh before then you know um you know you, you still have some type of segregation you know blacks one side whites in another side there was no use really unity besides sports it's by that time sports was the unify, you know, you know, you were fan of the, for example, fan of the Redskins. It didn't matter if you were black or white. You see what I'm saying? On on, on Sunday, we all Redskins fans. That's just a, a, an, an an example. But when Public Enemy came about, you know, with their music, they used the same way that sports unify races with with fans. Public Enemy did the same thing with music. And, and we, 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 and, and unify a whole, a whole country. You feel me? With their music. And, 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 and you, you, I remember when Public Enemy came out, I was in, I, I was in the States. And to, and you know who introduced me to Public Enemy? A white kid. Okay. A white kid introduced me to Public Enemy. Can end out, end out weird. His name is Williams, man. I William. I, I I miss my dude, yo. He 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 was a good friend of mine. But Williams, Willie introduced me to Public Enemy. A white dude. You know what I'm saying? And and uh that's how powerful Public Enemy was. Or, or you know, and it's because of Public Enemy, and and, and I speak in truth, man. I won't lie to you. I speak in the truth. Thanks to Public Enemy, because once Martin Luther King died. And one, uh, uh, you know, Malcolm X and all these leaders, Chuck D, and you know, kind of, you know, Public Enemy, especially Chuck D, kind of played that role with the music, you know, what I'm saying, and the movement, because you know, uh, Farrakhan and 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 uh, and uh, and uh, um, that other pastor, I forgot his name, uh, um. They, they, they were always into their own thing, you know, Aaron Chapter and, 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 and I forgot the other dude's name. Um, they were always, it was always with them. It's always whatever they can gain. But public enemy was like, it was like, um, you know, fight the power and, and, and united whole group. It wasn't personal. It was no personal gain behind that. It was really, let's bring, our community together, like, you know, and, and so a lot of their raps wasn't so much about fighting, fight the power and, 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 and the police and this and that. A lot of it had to do about, you know, um, teaching the, the young, uh, younger black kids and the young, the, the young black men to be men and to be responsible for their own at all. And, and it, it was be responsible for their own action. It was, it was kind of like, like I say, it was kind of like Martin Luther King on record, you know, on a rap record. It it was that powerful back in the day, and it's because of that. It's because of that, and and when, what that Public Enemy did is because it's because of that is now that you were able to have a, 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 an African American president. That's why Obama is there, you know, because a lot of these kids that that listen to that, you know, what I'm saying. That were not, um, they're not blacks. They're not African American. A lot of these kids that are not African American and they, 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 they united at that time in the late 80s through, through listening to Public Enemy and whatnot and, and stuff. Those kids were the ones who voted for Obama. You know what I'm saying? Because now, you know, they're in the thirties or whatnot and they were voted for Obama and, and they, um, they accepted it. That if it wasn't for public enemy, Obama would not be in that White House. Put it that way, because you know what I'm saying it, it was not um, visible. But it, you know it, it, that's that's how powerful it was. And it, it, you know, um, I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. But if if you listen to, like I say, if you come, if you listen to rap 
pretty much all your life. Like I've been following, I've been listening to rap since the '80s. So uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, it, it, it was that powerful. You know, you have people from all races wearing the African uh, medallion thing. I have one. You know what I'm saying? And 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 it was it was moving. So Public Enemy easy easily third on the list. Um, the next one I have to say, Cypress Hill. Um, Cypress Hill put the Latinos on the map, and 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 I don't care. I know it's kind of shameful they did it through rapping about smoking weed and getting high, but besides the fact they put Latinos on the map, man, especially the Mexican community, you know, because before Cypress Hill we had. Some dumb Puerto Rican faggot looking dude called Rico Suave. That shit was whack. And, and I mean, Fat Joe was in the mix, but Fat Joe really didn't get popular after, uh, you know, until the nineties. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he came after Cypress Hill. You feel me? And, um, but Cypress Hill, they put the Latino community on the map. You know what I'm saying? And, and they, and, 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 and they supported that. You know, a lot of, a lot of Mexicans, a lot of Latinos supported Cypress Hill. And, and, and it's thanks to them is, is that, uh, thank, thanks to Cypress Hill is that we, that, uh, you know, in America, you know what, who Daddy Yankee is, you know, you know who all this, uh, Hispanic, um, Fat Joe, even Fat Joe, Big Pond. It's because Cypress Hill, man, Cypress Hill opened the ears to, to, to the, to the, to the rap community about the Latinos. You know, hey, we, we Hispanic, we have an, a, 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 a Hispanic accent, but we got, we, we can spit on the mic. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and if things to them that, that, you know, we are a Hispanic community. We could go on that mic and we can sell records. You feel me? So Cypress Hill has to be on the list. And the number one top rap group of all times. Ready for this? Ready? You ready? Up for the 36 Shambas. Yes, sir. The Wu Tang Clan, man. Wu Tang Clan has to be the number one rap group of all times, dude. Of all times. Not only, almost every single member of the Wu Tang Clan can spit mean fire on that mic and bring heat, heat like a freaking volcano. They also are worldwide worldwide respected dude i mean i'm talking about there's nothing bigger than that w movement yo in hip-hop community in anywhere in the world everyone knows what that w stands for everybody knows 36 chambers you know, Shaolin Temple. Everybody knows Wu Tang Clan. Everybody know the cow, uh, old ODB, uh, the Rissa, the genius. Everybody knows these guys. Dude, I was in the Navy back in '94. You okay? And towards the end of '94, I went on a med cruise, and I was in Italy, dude. And back in the day, you know, back in the 90s, we still had record stores. You know what I'm saying? When you go buy CDs and tapes. Remember that shit? Remember that? You, If you remember that, you all as hell. Okay? So, back in the days, dude, um, we had record stores where you go buy records and shit. And I was in Italy, dude. I remember this shit. I was in Naples, Italy, brah. And I went into a record store and there was all kinds of Wu-Tang Clan albums on that mug, yo. Those guys could not speak one lick on English, but they go Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang all day long, dude. They were playing up for the 36 Shambles up in the freaking club in Italy. That's how big Wu-Tang Clan was, okay? And still is. 
It still is, man. Wu Tang Clan is not there, yo. Wu Tang Clan is 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 incredible, man. I'm telling you, that's how powerful this group was, you know, and still is to this day. The Wu Tang Clan had to be the best group ever, man. Best group ever, ever, because like I say, worldwide is well known. Worldwide, they introduced hip hop to the world, though. Not just to the states. Not just to, to the world. China knows about hip hop because of Wu Tang Clan. Italy knows about, about hip hop because of the Wu Tang Clan. Okay. When, when, like I said, when I went to Italy, there was a Wu Tang Clan album and a Michael Jackson album. That's it. That's all it was. Okay. All right. That's how big it was, man. Wu Tang Clan. It ain't nothing to fuck with, though. And, and it's true. It's nothing to fuck with. Wu Tang Clan was, and still is, the best, best rap group ever. Ever. And I don't think that no one, no other group will be able to outdo the Wu Tang Clan. None. None. Not Rockefeller with his fucking biting ass. Not uh, uh, the Burger Gang. Are you fucking serious, Little Wayne? No, mm -mm. no, no one, no other group. The Wu Tang Clan did it, and it's stable, and it's it, man. It's it. That's it. There's no other group that's gonna be able to outdo the Wu. None. That's how big they are, man. Like I say, man, they were in Italy, they were in France when I went there, they were in Spain, dude. Dude, my dude, you hear me, bro? The Wu Tang Clan was that big, man. And I'm talking about back in the 90s, where there was no freaking internet, yo. No internet. And they were playing Wu Tang Clan. They were playing Tekal in freaking France, man, in the clubs. You kidding me? In the clubs. They were playing Wu Tang Clan and Bob Marley. That's how big Wu Tang Clan was, man. So that's it, man. That's my top five groups of all time. Run DNC, Public Canemy, number one, NWA, Cypress Hill, and the Wu. Later, bitches.